What if we woke up in an alternate reality where famous brands swapped logo designers with their competitors? Today, we're gonna answer that question. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, make all kinds of logos, so if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. So this is a series I call Logo Swaps, and last time I did this, I didn't actually end up doing both sides of it. So today I'm gonna do if a brand was in the style of their competitor's logo, and then vice versa. So basically like this first one is gonna be Taco Bell and Del Taco, so I'm gonna show Del Taco in the style of Taco Bell, and then Taco Bell in the style of Del Taco. Okay, so to start for each one of these, I like to find the fonts from each logo and download those so that I can work with them in Photoshop and Illustrator. So it looks like the Taco Bell font is called Accidents, and unfortunately Del Taco is actually its own hand-drawn font. So I'll figure that out when we get to it. So for Del Taco in the style of Taco Bell, I recreated this dome shape with the pen tool working in Adobe Illustrator. And I wanted to make the sun from Del Taco's logo replace the bell. So I made their logo a vector uh, using the image trace tool and duplicated the sun and matched it up perfectly to make it be like a full circle sun. Then I made that white and I worked on figuring out the layout. So I made a smaller white circle inside and made this inner ring the lighter purple to match the original Taco Bell logo. Then I typed out Del in that font and I ended up just pulling the word taco from the original to make it say Del Taco and here is the final result. I think this one looks actually pretty cool, the logo itself, but it made me realize that I actually hate the Taco Bell font of their newest logo. For Taco Bell in the style of Del Taco, I decided to replace the sun with the bell. So in order to get the shape of the bell, I actually had to recreate it using the pen tool and then edit it to be that yellow and orange. And I moved it into the placement of the sun. Now remember that predicament from earlier that I was talking about where it doesn't actually have a font that I can type this out in? Well, luckily we got lucky <laughs> and all of the letters um, to spell out Taco Bell are actually within Del Taco except the B. So I arranged all the letters so that they spelled out Taco Del and then I just had to kind of slightly adjust the D to make it look like a B with the pen tool and here's that one all complete. I actually love how this one turned out. I think it's one of my favorite ones of the day. And it basically just makes me kind of nostalgic for Taco Bell's old colors because they used to do this, have like different colors in their logo. And it makes me just kind of wish that the new one was a little more playful instead of the serious tone they took. Next, I decided to do TikTok and YouTube, which are actually both pretty simple, but also have their own unique things to them. So I started by finding the fonts. I was actually able to just find dupes of these that someone put on Defont, um, and they're just called TikTok font and YouTube font, respectfully. <laughs> so for the first one, I did YouTube and as if it was in the style of the TikTok logo. So I created a triangle from the play button. This time I'm working in Photoshop since these are a little simpler and less to do with typeface. So I duplicated that original white triangle, put it behind the other one and made it this pinkish red from the TikTok logo. So this kind of stuck out to me, but I always thought that it was the TikTok logo in white in the middle and then red on one side and blue on the other. But really it's like the TikTok logo is in white and then they moved the red one behind it and whatever space kind of left the red, they made that part in blue at the top, if that makes sense. So I had to figure out how to do that in Photoshop. Um, and I actually just moved it down and then like selected all around the red one and then unselected around the white one and then just colored it in with the blue. Once I was happy with how that logo part looked, I then painted over the original logo in black and typed out the word YouTube in the TikTok font. I duplicated the U to give it the colorful shadows, just like in the TikTok one. And here is that one all complete. I love, love, love how this one looks. I think I like the original YouTube one a little bit better just because the play button is so iconic. It kind of came from the branding that was already existing on the site, but I think this one adds a real cool and modern factor to it. The other one was a lot simpler. I just had to type out TikTok in the YouTube font and replace the triangle with the TikTok T. And here's that one. It's definitely not as interesting and the play button aspect does not work if it's not a play button, but I do think it looks okay at the end. Up next we have Verizon and Cricut. So I downloaded those fonts and realized that both of them are actually very similar logos and have a very similar font style. They're literally just the word in this black lowercase font 
with one accent color. Anyway, just thought I'd point that out, but Cricut's font is called ITC Avant-Garde and Verizon's is called Newhoff. Uh, for Verizon in the style of Cricut, I really just had to type out Verizon in that font, but I wanted to give the Z the same treatment that the K has in the Cricut logo and give it that green accent, but I realized that it doesn't just have one of the parts in the K be green. It's kind of like stylized a little bit. So I tried to recreate that same shape with the Z and I ended up landing on this. I'm pretty happy with this recreation, but I don't know what else to really say to this. I mean, both these logos are kind of simple and basically I just typed out the word Verizon in this font and made a little part of it be green. So I don't think it's gonna look amazing either way, but I think this looks okay. For the other one, I realized that the check mark on the Verizon logo is actually just a smaller version of the V and the font from the V, um, but with its tail pulled out longer and changed to red. So for Cricut, I did the same thing. I just typed out Cricut in the Verizon font, duplicated that C, made it small and red, and I extended the tail. And I was actually just gonna keep it like that, but I was on a live stream and someone recommended tilting it up and I liked that suggestion. So it still kind of looks like a check mark, but more of a C. Also, this is a good time to point out that every Wednesday I go live and I do designs on the live and I take feedback and suggestions in the chat. So if you ever wanna join for that, you might see one of your ideas in a video later on. Again, this logo wasn't too interesting of a logo to begin with, and I think changing it to a C doesn't really help with that, but it is what it is. For the last pair, I did Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. I found a font online called Mundo Nick for the Nickelodeon font and one called Cartoon Slam for Cartoon Network. So for Cartoon Network in the style of Nickelodeon, it was pretty straightforward. I just had to type it out and make it orange. <laughs> so I think Nickelodeon's logo does do a better job of just like looking like its own cohesive thing because it's not too long and it doesn't have two words broken up with that space in the middle. I think Cartoon network typed out in that font doesn't work quite as well. Maybe it would work better if they were stacked on top of each other, but that's not the original style. So I had to do it how it was originally done and this is what it looks like. For Nick in the style of Cartoon Network, I basically just typed out everything and I knew I wanted to make the white in really large with the black box, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a second letter but having just one looked pretty odd to me. So I went ahead and just took the O from Nickelodeon instead of leaving it blank. And here's what that looks like. Yes, I realize it looks like it just says the word no. And maybe this kind of looks like an anti-Nickelodeon ad of some sort, but I kind of like it. When I'm looking at all eight of these, a couple of them definitely stand out from the pack. I really love Taco Bell in the style of Del Taco. I think it really looks playful and it made me realize how much I do like the original Del Taco logo. And I wish that Taco Bell would lean a little more into the playfulness these days. And don't get me started on the interiors of today versus the 90s. I also love YouTube in the style of TikTok. It was an unexpected favorite and I think it really just ups the cool factor of the YouTube logo. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post. I post every Friday a brand new long form video. And let me know in the comments which of these logo swaps is your favorite.